inside the tank, so I'm going to close the picture. Job. And I need a bit of clarity as well. It's already quite bright. Um, it's a great indication as well. And because this is a number, it comes up in like clumps of kimberlite, which number gets shoot up by volcanic activity billions of years ago. And then breaks down in the river. down the hill where it keep breaking up in pieces and the water wash it down as well so, many a lot of diamonds are fine where it breaks down in the river or where running water is it can get washed down but not just rivers but it's got over the landscape and sometimes river changes course as well but you can see the burn marks on it, which I explain in a lot of the videos which I designed because the evidence is there also. But as you can see, uh, for me, it's an, uh, a statement to say these minerals can be found in any country, not just one or two countries, they're everywhere. The volcanic activity happens in many countries millions of years ago before you even know on the, the formation and stuff of the landscape before many of us even put foot on it. So you're going to find diamonds in those countries if you look in the right places. I just want to find in many different things. Diamonds, sapphires, the normal gemstones and other things such as one is fine in many different things that are in Kimberlite um, don't just carry up diamonds they carry other minerals as well sapphire and sometimes even useless minerals no useless minerals no lower quality gem minerals stuff and lower quality which erode away and leave the harder stuff behind which is the diamond and the corundum and such. 